to Suns TV coming to you from Dream World here on the Gold Coast. Well, we have a huge show lined up today as we get ready to exact revenge on the GWS Giants. So let's get cracking. Surf life-saving legend Shannon Eckstein drops in to chat about one of Australia's toughest Ironman races, the Coolangatta Gold. We talk tactics with coach Blue McKenna. Plus, we have the social network, favourite Suns and heaps more. This is Suns TV. Each week, we invite you to interview your favourite players or even the coaches during the social network. Here's the deal. Simply email your question along with your name and the player or coach you want to interview to digital at goldcoastfc.com.au. It's the same deal if you follow on Facebook or Twitter. Simply send in your questions and the boys or coaches will answer them on next week's show. And remember, if you can't make it to the game, you can still get in on the game day action by chatting with us on our Facebook page or at Gold Coast FC using the game day hashtag AFL Suns Giants. There's no doubting our round seven loss to the Giants in Canberra stung everyone at the club. Let's face it, it's a game we should have won. Well, coach Guy McKenna is determined to make amends this afternoon and we caught up with him to talk tactics. We're going to make some changes, we, we know that, um, but again we're going to put our best possible side out there for our best possible chance to win like we do most weeks and I think it's a great opportunity for those players that come in that, to grab that opportunity and again we're playing a side that's been in the competition not even a year yet so uh, it's a good opportunity, a good opportunity for our, our fans and our home fans to see a, a win for the first time at Metricon Stadium. And they are happy, Melbourne have won their third game of the year, they've been too good today. Last week as we were disappointed and, and of course you're going to be disappointed and of course you're going to come up short, you know, 42 points short against Melbourne or any side when you really have only two players that probably performed above average. Um, and I talk about uh, Gary and, and Harley, I mean they were the only two really carrying the, the weight of the side and we understand no matter who you play, uh, it, it's going to take more than just two players and if we get more than just those two players today, and I'm talking 10 to 12 to 14, uh, that win in their areas, it gives you a good chance of winning games of football. I wasn't quite sure where it went. Matera held the handball up for Harley Bennell, who is very clever, but can he get it from the distance? He keeps it low. Strong hands, Riscatelli. Footy hasn't changed a lot. I mean, yeah, the rules have changed and, and franchises have come in, but I tell you what, the tackling pressure that you can bring to sides, and we've seen Geelong do that, and it's almost turned their season around. We saw that against Essendon two Friday nights ago. We saw it again uh, against Geelong. Um, you bring that fierce tackling pressure so the side can't use the ball the way, the way they want to do it. Well, all of a sudden you're going to get those turnovers, and that's so critical to us and any side. So we have to out-tackle the opposition. We talk about that each, each day. And then when you do that, you get to play the game on your terms. And then obviously, I think it's important for us to be at home, of course, is to get that scoreboard pressure too. Um, something that we we just almost did against Melbourne. You know, when we got ourselves back into the game in that second or third quarter, we, we got to sort of within five, six goals. We just couldn't get it down to three or four, which we can actually bring that pressure to bear on them. So we understand against GWS, they're playing away from home. It's important that we get some scoreboard pressure on them and, and really um, put the heat to them. He's Harley Bunnell and he's very, very good. Every week we put together a collection of quality performances and we want you to nominate your Host Plus Quality Performer of the Week. It's easy, jump onto our Facebook page, choose either A, B or C to be in the running to score yourself an awesome Gold Coast Suns merchandise pack. And remember, if you're looking for a quality industry super fun, just get in contact with our foundation partner, Host Plus. Radio time now for Suns Gold. just ran it back to where everyone else was. Here's Ablett around the corner. Can he get their first goal? Does it fall to the champ? It does. Well, that was a beautiful decision there under pressure. Good competition there from Charlie Dixon. Yeah. He didn't win the contest, but he halved the contest instead of Melbourne marking the ball. Loose ball. Taken by Maloney with strength. Jones has got strength, but he's dumped to Harley Bennett. Three in a row, sons. Hello, hello. He's probably been the difference. He uses the ball well inside 50, and if you can use that, that sort of skill from 30 metres, you're going to kick a lot of goals. To get past. Yeah, really good tackle. Just watch the body. And in the end, it was a pretty good handball off the ground, though, to get it to Brennan, to Russell. Brennan with the one hand. That's normal. Oh, Dixon Ooh. with a little bit of magic. Russell should kick the goal now. He's got no one in front of him. Straightens up. That's a good finish. And well worked, Gold Coast. Persistence pays there. Great uh, evasive skills from here, big Charlie Dixon. Uh, 
that was fantastic. And there's Luke Russell. There is again Luke Russell, hit over the ball and the finish is Needing some excitement here, the Suns. That's Patrick right, gets okay. it back. A little bit better here, Jono, taking the game on inside. 50, oh. wonderful play. Still to come on the show, Iron Man champ and Suns fan, Shannon Eckstein, gives us the lowdown on the Cool and Gatter Gold. You're watching Suns TV. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a freezing cold 24 degrees here in the middle of winter up on the Gold Coast, so got my beanie. Probably don't need it though, brother, do you? <laughs> here with the goal kicking genius from the Suns, Brandon Matera, mate. Um, we're in the Olympic Games um, fever at the moment. Have you been watching much of the, the games? Yeah, watch a bit every night, yep, before I go to bed. Good up, here's Flanagan. <laughs> Hey, also man, known as Montgomery Burns. Yeah, I haven't, yeah, not really. Got the great Tom Hickey here. Um, mate, you're in the Olympic spirit. What's uh, been your best moment of the Olympic Games? I've probably seen the uh, Australian badminton team get that second chance because of the old uh, tanking controversy. You know, the girls got in there, end up losing again. But, no, nah, good on them. The new Eric the Eel, the uh, rower from... Um I think what country, but he's oh. African background, yeah, very, very inspiring. He's, a, he's no good, is he? Uh, remind me of the, myself on the water. Our uh, favourite moment so far would have to be just the swimming, I think. What, what part of the swimming, mate? Uh, Bit of lay down Sally about him, yeah, is it? Yeah, he's just, um, you know, about 10 minutes behind the finisher, but a lot of heart, so. Good stuff, mate. The weightlifting, actually, sorry, women's okay, weightlifting. Okay, yeah. I love the women's weightlifting. Okay, um, and what part of the swimming did you like? Nah, I haven't seen too much swimming. It's yeah. just more. Yeah. Yeah. We could go again, Benny. Nah, wait, we'll start again. Sorry. All right, what's your favourite Olympic uh, moment of all time? Probably uh, Usain Bolt in the um, 100 last year. Yeah, oh, four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not going to really take two, but we'll pretend. Piers Flanagan here. Um, hey, Randy, how are you? Yeah, well, well, thanks yep. for asking. Uh, what's been your favourite moment of the Olympic Games so far, mate? I've really enjoyed the weightlifting. For the very latest news and information and to access brand new Suns TV content every day, just head to goldcoastfc.com.au. You can check out 2012 membership options, player profiles, detailed coach interviews, plus heaps more. If you're a fan of Facebook, make sure you like our Gold Coast Suns Facebook page. It opens up a whole new world of competitions and chances to win exclusive Facebook prizes. If you're looking to immerse yourself in the game day conversation, simply follow at Gold Coast FC and include our match day hashtag each week to get in the game. On footy fields across the country, AFL players face personal and team challenges on a weekly basis. But that's nothing compared to what homeless young people have to deal with every night. That's the focus of this week's Spotlight on Community. Today is just all about facing your fears and we've got um, our three charities of Youth Homeless so we're just taking them out here, taking them for a ride on the claw and um, we get to face our fears as well as the, uh, the young blokes and girls so yeah, it's good fun. Uh, it's pretty scary, I had to go um, twice through because Big Jared Brennan was a bit too scared to go the first time. So, but no, it was, it was good out there, so it's good to sort of sit next to the um, young people and chat to them as well. So. We're just trying to raise a bit of awareness for the homeless on the Gold Coast. Um, this is the third year we've been doing it now. Um, getting about 30 to 40 kids, it's just a dream world. Uh, take their minds off things and um, get them out and about and um, hopefully raise some awareness at the same time. I'm in your shade and you're watching Suns TV. 
Experience the passion and excitement of Australia's biggest sporting event, the Toyota AFL Grand Final, with one of many amazing packages. Book now for accommodation, flights or simply a Toyota AFL Grand Final ticket package, including your choice of seat for the game's biggest day. For all the details, visit goldcoastfc.com.au slash grandfinal. Okay, our next guest is a genuine superstar. Check this out, three-time and current World Ironman champion, four-time Aussie champ, and six-time and current Nutrigrain Ironman series champion. Yes, I'm talking about Shannon Eckstein. Um, I've probably been out the Metricon five times the last couple of years. I went up to the Gabba for the first Q Clash, which uh, the Suns won, which was, well, it was a riveting game. I really had a great time up there. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying getting out the Metricon and, and really following AFL is um, something new to me, but I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's a different game. As, uh, as I grew up on the Gold Coast, I never really knew about AFL till the, the Lions started winning and then we sort of knew about it. And um, it's the first game I played, the, the Nines um, really enjoyed it. I've always um, thought how good it would be to go to the Olympics. Um, we've seen Naomi Flood, who's um, one of the, the great Ironwoods we've had in the last couple of years. She's gone over to kayaking and she raced in London. Um, Ken Wallace, uh, Murray Stewart, Tate Smith, who's in Northcliffe Surf Club, Clint Robinson. There's a lot that go across into kayaking, but we've seen Kai Hurst go across into the open water swimming as well. But for me, my, my passion was always the, the Ironman racing and the surf, so I've stuck with that. The Coolangatta Golds um, is the most gruelling race that we have in our sport. It's four to four and a half hours of uh, marathon, um, whereas the Kellogg's and Instagram races go from anywhere 15 minutes to an hour and a half, so it's not quite the same um, length. But um, to win the Coolangatta Gold, you've got to be a great runner. Um, my brother Kane's won it five times now, and, and he's the best runner in our sport, and that's, that's why he wins. Um, I think the Suns will win it probably because they're, they're going to be a bit more determined after losing the GWS um, with the first time they clash. So they'll expect it to win that. Um, but this time I think they'll, they'll really be ruthless and be hard at the ball and uh, get the ball more than GWS. My favourite venue to play it would have to be uh, the MCG. Obviously I love Metricon but um, you know the MCG is where all finals footies played, the grand finals played and that's a big part of the reason we, uh, we play football is to win a grand final and um, you know there's no better feeling than running out there in front of 90,000 people and um, you know as I got to experience the previous years win a, win a Premiership Cup so I'm hoping we can do that up here in, uh, you know, in the next few years. Uh, thanks for the question Harry. Uh, my favourite place to uh, play it has been Metricon Stadium. Um, got to play the uh, Collingwood game, I think it was the first game that I played last year at Metricon Stadium and uh, although there were a lot of Collingwood supporters out there it was a, it was a uh, big crowd and uh, hoping to uh, get a lot more support uh, later this year. Um, also hope to uh, get down and play at the MCG which is the home of football uh, in, in coming games or uh, in coming years but Metricon's definitely been the uh, favourite place to play at. From a playing point of view, I mean, um, a lot's been said about our, our our youth, and I think about where the club's at. And I, I, I think for for bang for buck, I, I can't go past Gary Ablett. I think his ability to to lead on and off the field, to to show the boys the professionalism that's needed on the field and off the field, and all those other things that unfortunately um, the football fans only see the stuff on camera and on ground. But there's a lot of work that he does off the field, and I said nurturing membership, media. Um, the fans and even the players and the coaching group themselves. I mean, he's, his work on and off the field, he, you know, he can't be faulted. Yeah, great question about goal kicking. It's uh, amazing. I reckon the last six weeks we've really ramped up our goal kicking um, on our uh, spare days as well as at uh, training, and, and yet we just haven't been able to get the result. Uh, at the MCG, a difficult ground to kick goals at. Uh, Brandon Matera should have kicked a couple, if not three, in the uh, third quarter our second quarter and really put us into the game. Unfortunately, you can't afford to miss those goals and uh, that really cost us uh, probably in the end. But I think we are continuing to ramp up our efforts to convert from set shots and shots on the run. And we just unfortunately aren't getting the result for our, all our practice. If you're planning a trip to Metricon Stadium, then the new Megafan app is a powerful friend. 
The free Megafan app is the essential insider's guide to all nine major Queensland venues, including Metricon Stadium. You can check stadium maps and seating plans, view transport options for each venue, keep an eye on live scores, view stadium food and drink menus, and purchase tickets online. You can even view great sporting moments from each stadium. Megafan, where Queensland comes to life. After the break, we catch up with the Tasmanian Devil Maverick Weller to chat about his second season of AFL footy. Hit up the Gold Coast Suns online store to secure your official Suns merchandise and memorabilia at the best possible price. 2012 adult Guernseys are now just $100, but only at the Suns online store. You can find it on the homepage at goldcoastfc.com.au. Looking for a present with a difference? Why not check out the Gold Coast Suns customised range, exclusive to the Suns online store. Personalise your Sharon, a coffee cup, notebook, even your very own supporters scarf and fan banner. Check out the entire range online and make sure you stand out in the crowd at the next Gold Coast Suns home game. Well, before the Premiership action gets underway, the Suns and Giants NE AFL sides will battle it out at Metricon Stadium. We caught up with the man responsible for nurturing the Suns' stars of the future, Triple Premiership player, Sean Hart. It's interesting, you know, even with the senior team, you keep considering two-year players versus one-year players. It'll be the same for the reserves. A lot of their supplementary list, the guys who aren't making senior footy, will play in that early game. And certainly uh, our challenge is to make sure that we are doing the things we know we need to do better than they are. And uh, they've been uh, pretty good. They beat us the first time in the twos down in Canberra. And then they came up here, we had a 20-person uh, uh, game aside, and uh, and we actually ended up winning that game uh, comfortably in the last quarter. So it'll be a bit of a ding-dong battle all day long. Long, and it'll be a test of uh, the, our development program and certainly uh, the ability of our players to execute our game plan. Big Tommy played his best game for the club uh, last time against uh, Sydney and uh, certainly against GWS this week. Uh, big chance given the injuries to uh, Zach Smith and some senior players for Tom to have a crack and uh, we just need him to have a go and, uh, and to really test him at the level because he played okay in his one game over in Adelaide last year. Played really well uh, for a first gamer but we just need to see how he goes and whether he's uh, got the same ability to impact the game uh, because he's got a lot of talent but he just hasn't quite come on this year in terms of what we'd hope. There is a hoop to play for. We're sitting in fifth at the moment. If Labrador get beaten on the weekend uh, by Redlands, then uh, we should play finals because I would have thought Southport would beat Broadbeach in the last round. They have to win their last two Broadbeach to challenge us if we didn't win one of our last two. And Labrador have to win on uh, Saturday in their last round. So we should uh, play finals um, in the first week against Redlands up at Redlands, I'd imagine. A super talented Tassie teenager, Maverick Weller possesses all of the attributes needed to make it at the top as an AFL footy player. Well, it's coming to the end of Mav's second season, so we thought we'd catch up with him to see how he's travelling. As a footballer, you love it. You love what you do. and. Um, but you know, there is a lot of hard work that uh, you do that a lot, you know a lot of people outside don't don't see. You know, today we're at the, uh, the swimming pool and we you know we're going to do a, uh, a tough um, altitude hypoxic session today just to, to work on our fitness. Two, one, go. You know, every every minute of the day you can be doing something to sort of to better yourself or to put yourself in a position that you can train well or play well. Banfield holds his ground, a clean bowls. Jonathan Brown goes to the back to Weller. Big ball here. Unkind bounce for Weller, he stood over it okay. Dixon. The last sort of month, six weeks, um, it's been really satisfying um, seeing our game plan sort of um, or flourish a lot more than it has uh, in previous years and months uh, against uh, Brisbane Lions that last quarter which is um, normally because we got a young group our last halves aren't, aren't as good as our first halves and um, you know that that last quarter we had 70% uh, of the ball in our half so the boys took a lot of confidence out of that and uh, it's going to be you know vital for for us going forward. Everyone's got a role to play on the weekend you know you talk about you know our skipper you know, he's he's rolled in the midfield, um, getting you know getting first use to you know our defenders, locking down and making sure their men don't get off the lead. Myself, you know, I've been playing the defence now, playing off uh, half back, and you know, my job's to to make sure 
to nullify my opponent and um, give us a bit of run off there. So fortunately that I don't have to swim on the weekend and uh, I get to play footy because I struggle a bit at swimming. But um, it's a lot of hard work, but you know we love it and and um, and that's why we're playing. Well, that's the show all wrapped up for another week. We hope you enjoyed it. Now, make sure you get involved in the game day conversation right now on Facebook and Twitter. Our hashtag is AFL Suns Giants. From the entire Suns TV team, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching and go the Suns. Enjoy the game.